Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Kind of a different type of video today. Actually, I'm just going to discuss an article I read uh, yesterday. Actually, at the Rolling Stone, which never knew the Rolling Stone was big into discussing skincare topics, but they have a good article, and I will link to it um, below. And it's uh, the title of it is "Anti Sunscreen Influencers Want Your Want to Fry Your Skin," and it's actually just discussing really. Interesting. There's a ton of uh, influencers popping up, which I guess I don't know. And can anyone just call himself an influencer and then like think they've given a title to expand knowledge upon people when the, half the time they don't know what they're talking about? Um, anyway, um, so I thought this was interesting. So there's all these uh, influencers that are talking about sunscreen, how it's bad for you, and uh, actually they're blaming it on the pharmaceutical companies. Actually one influencer, which was, I think his name was Middleton, not, yeah, Middleton. And he is saying that the pharmaceutical companies want you to believe that sun is bad, well it's not. And he actually says that high levels of vitamin D make it almost impossible to develop an autoimmune disease. And if everyone just doesn't use sunscreen, this would put pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare industry out of business. Um, think about it for a minute. They need you to believe that sun is bad. And so if all of us walk around without sunscreen, all the pharmaceutical companies and healthcare industry is going to go bankrupt? Huh? I mean, what plan am I on? And you know what? I tend to think that there's some people that actually go along and believe some of this stuff. And uh, interestingly, so I was reading another article about vitamin D levels, and they say walking around in a tank top outside for 30 minutes twice a week gives you adequate vitamin D levels, which to be honest, living in Minnesota, um, I would say, pro I believe that half of people probably in the state I've read are deficient in vitamin D because half the time we don't get sun at all. So I don't think walking around and burning ourselves. Uh, three months out of the entire year is going to make a difference in needing a supplement. Um, and another interesting fact that this article pointed out um, discusses tanning beds. And uh, so they discuss, uh, they discuss these influencers with dermatologists and asked what their opinion was. And it said, uh, dermatologists point out um, that tanning beds, which first took off in the 1970s, uh, take some of the blame for the skin cancer because skin cancer is actually rising. It's becoming very common throughout the world, especially in the U.S. and I believe also Australia because they get a lot of sun. So uh, tanning beds, which first took off in the late 1970s, take some of the blame for the rise in skin cancer because according to one article from the Journal of American Medicine and Dermatology, uh, stated that more people develop skin cancer from indoor tanning than get lung cancer attributable to smoking, which is crazy to me. But I mean, those tanning beds, there's those tanning salons, they're still everywhere. Actually, I have a friend that had skin cancer and she's been going through treatments for it and she's doing fine. She still goes tanning. I have multiple friends, many friends that go tanning no matter what I tell them. And it doesn't matter. Um, so, I, 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 to be honest, I Googled this morning tanning salons in my area. There's tons of them. I just didn't realize that that was still a thing. I knew some of my friends still did it, but I didn't realize there were still tons of tanning salons everywhere. I just, I don't get it. I, I mean, I guess people think tan is pretty, but I mean, seriously, if you're going to drive 20 minutes to the tanning salon, spend 20 minutes laying there and 20 minutes home, that's an hour. Why don't you buy a t sunless tanning serum and apply that. I, I, I That I don't understand. The other thing these anti-sunscreen people are bringing up is, um, I knew this was going to come back to bite everybody, the benzene in the sunscreen. So all these people that already say chemical sunscreens are bad for you, now they're using this benzene thing, which Neutrogena and several brands had to recall. So now they're like, oh, sunscreens are also causing cancer now more than they were staying before because... There's just this huge group of people that just think chemical sunscreens are the most evil thing. And despite a lot of those studies that were done uh, showing them in the bloodstream, a lot of those studies were done incorrectly. They wouldn't be done the same way today and they wouldn't give the same results today. A lot of them put 100% of this sunscreen chemical all over your body multiple times and then showed it's in your blood. Well, if you use bottles of it over and over again within the same period, it's going to show that. 
Um, so anyway, I think you're better off using a chemical sunscreen and protecting yourself from skin cancer than thinking the chemical sunscreens are going to endanger you, especially showing a lot of these studies were just flawed. Um, so anyway, there's, it's, people just want to be an influencer, I guess, and just think they're going to put these companies out of business single-handedly by talking bad about sunscreen. And I think they're probably getting followed and watched more so because people are like, is this for real? Like, it's like watching the car accident go by, or the train track, watching the train go off the tracks. You got to look and see. So they're probably getting a lot more views. And then they're just going to keep harping this information, despite the fact that they don't know at all what they're talking about. And uh, anyway, sunscreen is good for you. It's, uh, you should be using it. There's some people that go a little overboard because uh, I've been asked a few times, should I be putting sunscreen on it before I go to bed? And I'm like, is there sun in your, you know, it's like, it's a little bit over the line, you know? I mean, but there's always an extreme both sides. So it's good to be in the middle, healthy, using your sunscreen. When you get too obsessed about it, that's when it becomes a little bit of an issue. But I'd rather err on the side of that than um, just burning yourself every day and seeing what happens because skin cancer, um, like my friend, she's okay, but it can be fatal for a lot of people that get it, depending, on, and it can be disfiguring too. So um, anyway, I think you're better off using it. So uh, this is an interesting article, I'll link to it. And I knew that benzene contamination thing was gonna come back and everyone now is gonna say chemical sunscreen is bad when that was just, that was a bad batch of product from a few small, well, a few giant brands, but it doesn't represent the mass amount of chemical sunscreens out there. And if you think chemical sunscreens are bad, that's fine. Make your own decision about it. Then you can use mineral ones. There's some great mineral ones out there that aren't white casty and things like that. Um, one of them I've got right here is the Ilia C Serum. So, uh, so you don't necessarily have to, I think this is, yeah, zinc oxide. I mean, you don't have to go so overboard thinking that chemical ones are bad, then use a mineral one. Because nowadays the mineral ones aren't thick and terribly white casty like you think they are. They're, they're become, they've become a lot better. So, and then I will link to my sunscreen favorites video, but it's just good. And you know, even the UVB rays burn you, but UVA rays aid you. So protect yourself from all of that and skin cancer at the same time. A lot of us probably use sunscreen to be vain, so we prevent the aging and hyperpigmentation, things like that. But it's just, it's good because sunscreen, or skin cancer is on the rise and it is expensive. And the treatments, I mean, once you get the cancer removed, it doesn't end the, I mean, especially if it's on your face or something like that, then you have more treatments and things like that, lasers and things like that, which make it a lot more uh a lot more than you'd think, a lot harder to treat than you'd think initially. So anyway, you don't have to go too crazy about it, but just be smart about it. Protect your skin from the sun and don't listen to people. I mean, you know what? There's people in every field that don't necessarily aren't the brightest. So even if this influencer was a doctor, I still don't necessarily think I'd go with his judgment compared to the judgment of hundreds, thousands of other doctors and dermatologists to say sunscreen is a good thing to use every day. So anyway, those are my thoughts, my rants. In the US, we just keep going backwards on sunscreen. We haven't approved any new filters and Act of Congress didn't, didn't make them do anything. So, and in fact, I think we're getting less filters and I think uh, some of the boards and things are actually looking at uh, getting rid of the few chemical filters we do have here. So um, anyway, especially when they talk about uh, reef safe sunscreens like in Hawaii you can't ship any chemical sunscreens there because they're not reef safe especially I think octocrylene is one of them so I mean we're going backwards when there's a lot of new sunscreens and things that are great and anyway the reef stuff is a whole nother topic which it's hotly contested you make up your own decision on it I'm you know I'll give you some information you make up your own mind don't don't take anything I say for granted just because I said it go check everything else out. So anyway, interested in your thoughts, check out this article. I will link to it below. It's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, okay. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you more tomorrow.